Welcome to Swamp Bites here at Swamp Shangri-La, Rule 11 here in the heart of the South Carolina Low Country. Big J here, the lovely bee, my beautiful wife. Hello. And let's go ahead and revisit a video we just uh, released here, titled Smashing Timber. Take a peek at it, something, guys. All right, what you're looking at is the second tree that I pushed over with Big Blondie, our crawler loader. And you can see how it fractured. So... What did you see when I was pushing it over, huh? What I saw was the trunk area seemed to be splintering. There was a very sharp, crisp sound, and it just appeared definitely like something was wrong. It did not appear to be a natural falling tree after you've applied the pressure. And that's why I thought that we needed to investigate to determine if there is an issue, which is what propelled us to do this video. So let's take a look at this tree right here, gang. Here you're looking at the body of the second tree. This wood is dry. I'm talking, you got grade A firewood right here. So I'm going to say we're probably at about 90% dead on this tree. Yeah, just enough nutrients going out through the outer layers of bark to uh, get everything where it needs the nutrients going up to the leaves. Now, let's talk about hazards. When you are using a chainsaw and you have a majority tree that is dead on the inside, you've actually heard me speak in numerous videos about this... We live in the wetlands of South Carolina, so if you guys are living around any kind of marshy environment, whatever, oaks do not like a lot of moisture, apparently. That's been my observation. How a hickory reacts, cypress trees love it because you always find them in the swamp. But as far as hardwoods go, oaks in particular, they start dying. They start just rotting from the inside and I remember, roughly eight to nine years ago, we had a big oak and tree. And you remember that day. You were at work, and I cut that tree down. Yes, I do. <laughs> you came home, and I say the day, I about took out the lamp beside the house. If you guys got rural power authorities, you know that they'll put a lamp out there beside your house within reason, somewhere on your property, as long as they can run a power head to it. Oh, nice, healthy 20 six inch i mean that thing was like this i'm talking i couldn't wrap my arms around it guys that's long before i thought about a sawmill and anything had me a big box store 18 inch bar chainsaw oh i was paul bunyan Ooh, rah. i'll tell you what started my front cut got it right i did my back cut the whole interior of that thing was gone can you say structural catastrophic failure now, these are words you never want to link together whenever you say anything about doing anything for, you know, applications. But that's what you wound up with, with catastrophic failure with the integrity of that tree. It literally exploded. Bam. Gone. I'm talking just boom. The whole tree just shut down. You know, to use a bad analogy and bad sense of humor, it's like freaking, you know, as soon as that happened... And it happens in the blink of an eye, guys, okay? This isn't like something you see in Hollywood where it's going in slow motion and, oh, I could stop this. No, you're cutting away on this thing and then all of a sudden, boom, right down. Something clenched up on me like you wouldn't believe. And at the same time, I dove to the side away from where this thing was about to pitch pole. And I started low crawling and running on my belly infantry style grunts. You know what I'm talking about. So I about took out the light because the tree started and then it came down hard and then it started to pitch pull. Which is very concerning because in a situation like that, and he was on his own, in a situation like that, if he had been severely injured, he'd be on his own having to deal with this having to deal with his injuries, having to find a way to, fight, to try to get medical assistance. And this emphasizes 
all the other things that we've said in prior videos, try to get a plan together. Try to make sure that when you go into something, go into it with the concept that if you're actually going to work a plan, if that plan falls apart, what do I do then? And in this scenario, he got out of, got out of the way, but if he was not further away from the tree, and he was closer to the tree than anticipated, he could have been severely injured, which is a scary thought. Yeah, pretty much, you know. Needless to say, you know, I about took out the lamp. I'm glad I didn't take out the house. And uh, that really got my attention about these damn oak trees out here. And ever since then, every single one I've cut into, and since we started this uh, video application for you viewers to watch our journey, you notice whenever I cut into an oak, there's something wrong with it. There's something started with it. Now, when I went back and I investigated the stump on this thing, no need showing you the viewer's stump because it's all marred up and everything from where I've been excavated trying to get out of ground. But you can see that black residue. It's like some kind of a sci-fi movie. I'm talking, it's like this black ominous goo discoloration. It almost looks like it got hit with fire. I'm talking black. And obviously it's deteriorated. Now I don't see any discoloration up in here for the most part. But when we start cutting this thing back, because you know, this is obviously is a twin trunk tree that grew back together. It does appear that way. So that's obviously, whenever you have that, that's not suitable for a sawmill at all. You don't have a solid core of wood. But we got good firewood and it's already standing dead. So that's a beautiful thing too, gang. But you know, the pretty much when we start cutting in this, I guess we'll really be able to show you what we're dealing with right here. But we wanted to do an awareness video for you because trying to keep an eye on your environment, the environmental conditions. Where are you? Are you in the mountains where it's nice and airy and dry? Oaks love that. They love that rocky soil. The only thing you watch out for is the root system may not be all there. So, but if you're down here in the hollows in the swamp, mm, I don't know, guys, I'm going to tell you right now, they don't like it. How the rest of the hardwoods like it, I couldn't tell you. All we have here on the property that I've seen are oak, pine coming out our ears. You got uh, maple, quite a bit of maple, young maple. Yes. Uh, you got some holly trees and some gum trees, and I think that's pretty much it on a whole for our immediate ecosystem. But uh, we wanted to do a nice little awareness video because how this would have reacted if I would have been right here at point of contact with a chainsaw, I can't really tell you because I pushed it over with a loader. Now, it could have been solid all the way through. It kind of looks like there's been some hollow in here, but it's not this color. But what was odd, too, when I was looking at you through the camera, when it fell, it didn't fall from the root. It fell from the area probably where the rod is, and that's why it fractured. It could be. That, the dry area. So I think that may be why it fell that way, because that's probably where the rotting started, because one would think that you would actually have been able to push it over from the root. Yeah, one could think that, and obviously it fractured at the point of contact where I was putting pressure on it. So mm -hmm. probably I would have been cutting three to four feet lower than where I was uh, putting pressure on it, so it might have been solid. You could always second guess yourself, coulda, woulda, <laughs> shoulda all day. But what this video is meant to do for you, the viewer, is give you an awareness. And it's an awareness for us now. We know definitely in the future, when approaching oak trees, this is what we may encounter. There's a greater possibility this is what we will encounter because mm -hmm. we've had it end up this way several times. Now, I think this verifies that we're going to have issues anytime we approach an oak tree and we'll have to keep that mindset in the future. Pretty much because it seems like just about out of three oak trees, two out of three are bad. That's yes. not good odds. That's not good odds at all. They do need to go da come down, but yeah. nonetheless, it's quite something to approach it thinking this will happen. And yeah. you're right there 
in the area of where it's happening. You're not away from it when he was on the loader. So that's what we'll have to take in consideration when he goes in to cut another tree down that's an oak. Exactly. So we hope you guys enjoyed this video. And we, like I said, it's just an awareness for you, the viewer. Keep in mind your environment and your species of tree. Try to do a little due diligence on what you have on your property versus your environment, your terrain. If you're in a very moist, marshy area, are your resources receptive to this? Or they're not really good in it. If they're not good in it and they don't thrive in it, meaning, yeah, they'll get some decent size to them, but what's going on inside? What is going inside of that timber? Because when you cut through that outer casing, when you cut through that initial cut, and you come up and you got in a three foot diameter tree, you got a foot and a half of it on the inside, it's turned to muck, and you're cutting through that. There goes that structural integrity. Exactly, and then all of a sudden, like I said, boom. Yes. And like I said, guys, that's how it happens. Bam, right there, failure. There ain't no Hollywood movie. When failure happens, you're often right there with the dumbest damn look on your face. And that's how fast it happens. So, to try to prevent that, do a little due diligence to find out what exactly you're dealing with. Because again, it's getting nutrients up to the leaves. And I want to say this thing is probably about 90% dead. And as you saw initially when we did a overview of each tree before we started the, vi the video, the prior video that we did, both trees appeared healthy, which is very deceptive. Mm -hmm. You cut into it and you encounter this. As you guys saw the first one, you go back and check out that video. The first one was solid. Now, I've not, not started cutting into that yet, so we don't know what's wrong with that tree, if anything. So, but we were able to salvage the prior oak yes. when we did the um, sawmill of our first oak video. That's right. Even though we saw some kind of rot mm -hmm. actually starting to occur, we were able to salvage it and got very good pieces of wood out of it. Very accurate. So, you know, remember in our Smashing Timber video, we did two trees, so we haven't cut into the first tree of that yet, so we don't know what the outcome is at the core of that tree but we will be doing that but this pretty much i'm gonna call this one firewood <laughs> so we hope you guys have enjoyed the video we hope you have enjoyed the videos and uh we'll see you on the next one we'll yeah. see you on the next one